Welcome to our new video that is MCQs on virology or viruses and this is the part 16 of this series of videos on virology. So the first question is varicella virus belongs to the family retrovirus, pox virus, enterovirus or herpes virus and the right answer is option D that is herpes virus. So varicella virus belongs to the family herpes, herpes virus okay so the next one is chicken pox is caused by variola virus vaccinia virus varicella virus or herpes simplex virus and the right answer is option c that is varicella virus so chicken pox is caused by varicella virus so next question kya hai dekhenge so next question hai harpangina is caused by Adenovirus, herpes simplex virus, rheovirus or coronavirus and the right answer is option B that is herpes simplex virus. So herpangina is caused by herpes simplex virus. So move on to the next question. So that is how many herpes viruses have been recognized? Recognized that is option A3 or 6 or 12 or 40 and the right answer is option B that is 6 so 6 herpes viruses have been recognized till now so the next question is so herpes virus having maximum malignant potential is herpes simplex 1 herpes simplex 2 varicella, varicella virus or cytomegalovirus and the right answer is option B that is herpes simplex 2 so herpes virus having maximum malignant potential is herpes simplex 2 so the next question is herpes juster that is singles occurs in individuals who previously had vaccinia infection variola infection varicella infection or rubella infection and the right answer is option c that is varicella infection so herpes, ju herpes juster occurs in individuals who previously had varicella infection so next question kya hai next hai during one step growth of fudges the phase which comes immediately after fudge addition without release of any virion is referred to as brust period brust phase latin period lac phase and the right answer is option c that is latent period okay so during this during one step growth of fudges the phase which comes immediately after fudge addition without release of any variant is referred to as latent period okay so next one is during one step growth of fudges the phase which comes after fudge addition with release of new variant particles via cell lysis is referred to as brust size or brust or raised period or latent period or lock phase and the right answer is option b that is brust size or sorry brust or raised period okay so next question is the total number of fudges released is calculated based on brust size brust or raised period or latent period or lock period and the right one is option a that is brust size so the total number of fudges released is calculated based on brust size okay so next question is during one step growth of fudges the phase which comes immediately after fudge addition without release of any Simply an initial segment of latent period is referred to as brust period, brust phase, latent period or eclipse period. So the right answer is option D that is eclipse period. Okay. So move on to the next question that is which of the following is or are can serve as receptor site for successful fudge infection and the options are lipopolysaccharides protein and ticoic acid flagella and pili uh, and the last option that is any of the above based on type of fudges and the right answer is option d this any of the above based on the type of fudges so lipopolysaccharide protein and ticoic acid and flagella and pili all are correct that they can serve as the receptor site for successful fudge infection 
okay so the next question is the most common outcome of a primary herpes simplex virus that is hsv infection is persistent varimia varimia or establishment of latency death of patient transformation of infected cell and the right answer is option b that is establishment of latency is the most common outcome of a primary her uh, herpes simplex virus infection so move on to the next question so which herpes virus produces pock on cam cam means uh, choreo allantoic membrane so options are varicella cytomegalovirus herpes simplex virus or epstein bar virus so the right answer is option c that is herpes simplex virus so herpes virus produce pock on cam so which herpes virus that is herpes simplex virus okay so move on to the next question so that is primary infection with hsv1 are known to occur during the child bearing years or acquired later in life or found in preschool or school age children or found in aged females and the right answer is option c that is found in preschool or school age children so primary infection with hsv1 are found in preschool or school age children so the next one is true statement regarding hsv1 include it is responsible for genital tract infection it is isolated from lesions in and around the mouth or it is transmitted venerably or it is a neurotropic virus sorry neurotropic virus and the right answer is option b please it is isolated from lesions in and around the mouth so that this is the true fact about the hsv1 okay so move on to the next question that is herpes simplex virus frequently produces eosinophilic nuclear inclusion bodies classified as owl's eye inclusion or negri bodies or cowdery type 1 inclusion or cowdery type 2 inclusions and the right answer is option c that is cowdery type a inclusion so herpes simplex virus frequently produces eosinophilic nuclear inclusion bodies classified as cowdery type a inclusions okay so the next question dekhenge that is cowdery type a inclusions are found with pox virus herpes virus cytomegalovirus or arbovirus and the right answer is option b that is herpes virus okay both are the same type of question so move on to the next question that is the ultimate receptor site for t even phages of coliform bacteria is or are lipopolysaccharide certain proteins either a or b neither a nor b and the right answer is option c that is either a or b the ultimate receptor site for t even phages of coliform bacteria is or are lipopolysaccharide and certain proteins so this either a or b so the move on to the next question that is the binding of phages is probably by interaction type of covalent binding or electro electrostatic interaction or ionic bond and salt bridge or none of the above and the right answer is option b that is electrostatic interaction so the binding of phages is probably by interaction that is type of electrostatic interaction so the last question of this video is which of the following can influence the binding of phages to the bacterial cell surface and the options are ph calcium and magnesium ion or both a and b can be right or neither a nor b and the right answer is option c that is both a and b can be right so this ph and calcium and magnesium ion can influence the binding of phages to the bacterial cell surfaces okay so these are the all 20 questions of this video so thank you for watching this video